exciting times. Cynthia, one of our Jenny donkeys, uh, one of our females, is, uh, is bagging up. Her udder is filling with milk. I know she's going to give birth in the very near future. We're watching her like a hawk. We've got the CCTV cameras on her, and we're hoping for a really successful outcome. Come with me. Let's have a look at her and see what you think. Come on, flower. Uh, this is Cynthia over here, and I'm checking them all every day for, uh, for, for changes. And what I found is this one's udder is filling up, she's bagging up. Um, I know she's not going to be that much longer, and, uh, and we're really watching her closely now. Uh, she's a lovely natured donkey, and I'm really hoping that this year we can get a fall from her that she can rear and it can all end happily. Last year was particularly disappointing for Cynthia because she lost a foal. She was delivered safely. She fed it for quite a few days, but for whatever reason, it just faded away. It didn't have the strength to keep feeding, and no matter what we did with the vets, we weren't able to save it. It was uh, really, really disappointing. It was beyond disappointing. It was gutting. She's a beautifully friendly donkey. We named her after my mother. Uh, last time we had to help her give birth. It was, uh, it was a big fall, it was, uh, it was a tight fit. I'm hoping now that this is a second fall, she'll deliver it herself. We love natural births. I'm really hoping that that's what we get this time. A natural birth with a lovely fall would absolutely make my year. With four donkeys in this pen, all due to fall in the next month, this is going to be the next one to give birth. Uh, she's really imminent. Uh, she looks a little bit apprehensive. She looks a little bit tense. She looks like she doesn't know what to do with herself. Uh, I'm really hoping we can get it delivered soon and, uh, and hopefully everything will work out well and we'll have a lovely little fall to, uh, to enjoy over the rest of the summer. Right, we'll keep you posted, folks, about what happens to all our animals, but next time I see you, I'm hoping I can introduce a beautiful uh, newborn foal that will become part of our farm for years to come. So I'm really hopeful, and I'm keeping everything crossed. Uh, we can't forget that the star of the show will always be Gary. Uh, he's the father to all the little foals that we have born every year. He's a real character. Uh, we nearly lost him a couple of years ago, so, uh, so he's very precious to us, and he's, uh, he's really affectionate, really adorable, and, uh, and just a big softie, really.